Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we journey half a billion years into the past, where bizarre, alien-like creatures roamed the Earth. In a stunning discovery, scientists have found surprising similarities between these ancient beings and modern humans, thereby rewriting what we thought we knew about our own origins. The study published in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society shows that oceanic creatures from the Ediacaran period shared genes with today's animals, including humans. None of them had heads or skeletons. Many of them probably looked like three-dimensional bath mats on the seafloor, round disks that stuck up, said Mary Drozer, a geology professor at UC Riverside. These animals are so weird and so different. It's difficult to assign them to modern categories of living organisms just by looking at them, and it's not like we can extract their DNA. We can't. However, well-preserved fossil records have allowed Drozer and the study's first author, recent UCR doctoral graduate Scott Evans, to link the animal's appearance and likely behaviors to genetic analysis of currently living things. The researchers considered four animals, representative of the more than 40 recognized species that have been identified from the Ediacaran era, for their analysis. These creatures ranged in size from a few millimeters to nearly a meter in length. Kimberella were teardrop-shaped creatures with one broad, rounded end and one narrow end that likely scraped the seafloor for food with a proboscis. Further, they could move around using a muscular foot like snails today. The study included flat, oval-shaped Dickinsonia with a series of raised bands on their surface and Tribrachidium, who spent their lives immobilized at the bottom of the sea. Also analyzed were Ikaria, animals recently discovered by a team including Evans and Droza. They were about the size and shape of a grain of rice and represent the first bilaterians were organisms with a front, back, and openings at either end connected by a gut. Evans said it's likely Ikaria had mouths, though those weren't preserved in the fossil records, and they crawled through organic matter, eating as they went. All four of the animals were multicellular, with cells of different types. Most had symmetry on their left and right sides, as well as non-centralized nervous systems and musculature. Additionally, they seem to have been able to repair damaged body parts through a process known as apoptosis. The same genes involved are key elements of human immune systems, which helps to eliminate virus-infected and precancerous cells. These animals likely had the genetic parts responsible for heads and the sensory organs usually found there. However, the complexity of interaction between these genes that would give rise to such features hadn't yet been achieved. The fact that we can say these genes were operating in something that's been extinct for half a billion years is fascinating to me, Evans said. The work was supported by a NASA exobiology grant and a Peter Buck postdoctoral fellowship. Going forward, the team is planning to investigate muscle development and functional studies to further understand early animal evolution. Our work is a way to put these animals on the tree of life, in some respects, Droza said, and show they're genetically linked to modern animals and to us. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.